Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're coming across a domain name is not working error. So if you're on, let's say, Google Chrome, and it says that the site cannot be reached and the server DNS address could not be found, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be to open up a web browser, whatever browser you're having the issue with. And you want to go select the settings icon, so assuming it's Google Chrome, which most of you guys are probably using, and then select the more tools option, and then select clear browsing data. For time range, I would suggest clicking inside the drop down and select all time. Please note this will sign you out of most of the websites you're currently on, so if you have any auto save information, it will probably will clear that. And you can also head over to advanced too if you want to modify this a little bit, so if you don't want to delete passwords and other sign in data or autofill form, you can keep that unchecked. And again, time range, select all time, and then select clear data. And once you're done with that, you should close out of the browser. Now I would recommend opening up the star menu. Type in CMD, best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS as it appears on my screen. So again, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter on your keyboard. So now once you've done that, you should go ahead and restart your computer. So you've done both uh, clearing your browsing information as well as resetting or flushing the DNS. So I would recommend restarting your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. Again, this could be an issue with the server itself, so it might not have anything to do with you, so just keep that in mind. So we're just going through a couple potential issues if you're noticing that most websites are coming across this error and it just isn't one isolated occurrence. So anyway, another thing we're going to go ahead and try if you're still having an issue would be to open up the start menu, type in control panel. Again, once you've restarted your computer, and we're going to go select control panel here. And we're going to set our view by to category view. If it's not already, select the network and internet option. So now we're going to select network and sharing center. Whatever your access connection type is over here where I'm kind of circling with my mouse, you want to select it. So in my case, it's Ethernet, but it might say a Wi-Fi network or something like that. And you want to go select the properties button. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and then parentheses TCP slash IPv4 and then select Properties. If you currently have something in here, so maybe you're using a VPN or something like that, you want to just switch it to obtain an IP address automatically as well as obtain DNS server address automatically. If it is currently set to both automatic, you can try switching it to Google's DNS server address. So in order to do that, we're just going to, for the second option here, so obtain DNS server address automatically, switch this to use the following DNS server address. And we're going to do Google's DNS server address here. So again, you can Google this if you want just to verify it, but uh, Google's preferred DNS server is 8. And then we're going to use our mouse cursor, click into the next section here, type another 8. Same thing, we're going to do 8, 8, so again it's 4 8s all evenly spaced out here, and then the alternate is 8.8.4.4, as you see on my screen here. And you can also validate settings upon exit if you choose to do so, just to make sure it's all working. And you know, if for some reason you typed it in incorrectly, which I suggest you guys don't do, but if you did, you can always just switch it back to obtain DNS server address automatically, and that will revert what you just did here. So pretty straightforward, select OK close out of here. I would suggest restarting your computer at this point and hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.